Yeah. Yo, what up, Whakafano? Welcome to another video. Uh, this week's video is on a fly rod, and a fly rod that has caught me by surprise. Um, when I was first given this fly rod, I didn't think I could find a lot of use for it, and um, I, I've given it a go, and I think that I'll be using it a lot more than I thought I would. And uh, what I'm talking about is uh, Max Catch's uh, fiberglass rod in three-way um, so as I'm talking you'll be seeing uh, some uh, action shots and, or video of uh, video footage of me playing trout in a, in a small trim that, um, that that's just off the side of the road of one of one of my main rivers um, yeah me and Kano stopped there and uh, had a few casts because I hadn't caught something um, on, on this rod and gave it a blast and um, it turned out awesome uh, so yeah, just enjoy the footage and all you'll be hearing is my monotone voice over the top. Anyway, um, a lot of you will be going, oh here we go, he's just promoting promoting this uh, just because I'm sponsored by Max Catch. Um, partly yes, but I also want to tell you guys that um, you can, you know, there's, there's another way to have heaps more fun trout fishing. Um, a lot of people keep to, you know, like the, the standard five, six, seven, eight weights and um, don't really go any lower than that um, for, for fun and um, and, I, and I was kind of in that same mindset so um, the 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 glass three weight has just like completely broadened my horizons um, seven foot what seven foot uh, three weight fiberglass rod like I'm just looking at it like I'm gonna snap this thing and um, as you can see when I'm playing the fish the things almost bent in half um, and yeah, so we get a couple good, couple good bows and a brown, and um, yeah, she played it like a dream. He sh and um, it, it, it cast really nicely. I, I was expecting, you no know, kind of not a lot of power in it, but it, it, it got it across. I wouldn't want to go much bigger in terms of river, um, even, even though this river isn't massive. It's probably only three, four meters wide. I wouldn't want to go a lot bigger. Um, you know, kind of looking at the ten meters. Uh, plus um, size river on this rod just because I don't think you'll get the, the accurate cast and it, it, the, the river might be just a bit too angry for it but um, yeah I'm just here to tell you guys today that you guys should definitely check check this combo out it's um, it's two hundred dollars I believe which is it, it is a bit of an investment and um, but I'm telling you guys it's totally worth it get in those small streams those small clear streams the um, the presentations I, I found found were a lot nicer, a lot um, not so aggressive, you know, a lot lighter, and um, yeah, I, I just enjoyed it. So I've got so my setup is uh, the the fiberglass in orange, and I've got the ultralight reel, which is about a four hundred dollar combo. But I believe there might be a package on Max Catch. I'm not too sure. Let's go check it out. Hopefully this uh, video is showing, you know, that, that the rod is a bit of fun, it's it's interesting and I, I was just getting it out there, you know, it's almost Christmas time and you can tell mum and dad or auntie and uncle to buy you a new rod and that, you know, it might be the new rod for you. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just wanting to tell you guys that it's an awesome rod. Now the negatives, as I've said, it's not that powerful, it is more powerful than I thought but if you're looking at big Tongariro kind of stuff, man, I, I don't know if this is the right view. Um, yeah, big, big rivers is just, you know, it's, it's probably not the go-to. Um, that's what I'm going to say. Um, I also found the line not that, not that great. It, I found it real hard to load. Um, that could be just me being used to bigger rods in the six and eight weights. But yeah, I found the line pretty terrible. But like that could be angler era or that that could be um the brand of line that i was using so um yeah anyway thank you all for watching uh make sure if you do go to the max catch nz website just um and 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 you do decide to buy something whether that be a rod whether that be something um yeah just make sure you write in the comments 
uh, fuck a fight. That would be awesome. Also, I just want to do a massive shout out to Alex Bailey from the Waikato. Bro, if you can get in contact with me, um, I've got your details, but I want you to get in contact with me and I'll hook you up with a, with a New Zealand fishing flies package. Um, by the way, all the fish that were caught in this video was caught on a black bead New Zealand fishing flies fly. Uh, pheasant tail, New Zealand fishing flies, black bead pheasant tail. And yeah, the, br the brown and the, um, and the bows all came on that. So yeah, Alex Bailey, get in touch with me, mate. I'm going to sort you out because um, you were the first to write fucker five and, um, and, and buying something on Max Catch. So yeah. So you guys should write fucker five because I'm going to be picking out a couple of random numbers and sending packages for you. So when so I haven't got a number, but um, when I get the text saying that uh, you have purchased number ten or fifteen or whatever it be, um, when when you have purchased something and you're that lucky number, I will get in contact with you or I will tell you to get in contact with me and um, yeah, we'll sort it out, sort something out for you guys. But thank you guys for the love so much. Max Catch New Zealand is doing real well and um, yeah, so yeah, just a little little, uh, little tip. M maybe if you want to broaden your horizons, get the fiberglass street weight. It's a, it's a, I'm, having, I'm having a lot of fun on it and tomorrow when I'm out fishing I'm going to be using it. So next week's video will be using the fiberglass on a small stream catching fish hopefully. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next week for another episode of Fuck a Trap. Later.